Good morning, everyone. Now the next part of uh, classification of computer. As in the first part of uh, classification, we have discussed that how to classify the computer system according to the logic. But uh, in the second part of computer, we are taking uh, the next category that is how to divide computer according to its size. So let us start this topic like classification according to its size. So basically we are having both large and small computers and uh, if I talk about the large computer systems then mm. in case of large computer system basically we can divide the computer in three categories and the first category is supercomputer and the next category is micro uh, is uh, mainframe computer and the third category is of uh, mini computer. So we are having three categories under this large computer system. So first of all, uh, just have a look of supercomputer. As a supercomputer is very large in size, as uh, the name suggests, and uh, the supercomputer is generally characterized as being the fastest, most powerful, and most expensive computer. As uh, uh, if I talk about the number, different number of computers, then the supercomputer is one of the uh, most powerful, fastest, and most expensive computer. So the supercomputers uh, recognize the largest word length of 64 bits or more even though they are having large memories with high processing speed because in case of supercomputer we uh, not only uh, we are using only a one single uh, CPU we are using different number of uh, CPUs within this com supercomputer and as I've talked about the first supercomputer of India, then it was Param, P-A-R-M, Param was the first supercomputer developed in India. Then after that, if I talk about the world's first supercomputer, then it was CDC 6600. It's CDC 6600. So uh, these are the name of supercomputer. Then after that, if I talk about uh, the supercomputer, then uh, I can say that this can process up to billion, uh, billions of operations within a second. And uh, these computers have multiple uh, central processing units, as I've told you. That is why the speed is very fast, and that is why it, uh, it is going to process billions of operations within a single second. So it is possible only with the help of uh, these multiple central processing units within, uh, within this supercomputer. So these all are the example of supercomputer like uh, CDC 6600, this is one of the supercomputer, then Cray 1, Cray XMP 14 and NEC 500. So these all are some of the name of supercomputer. Then after that we are having the next uh, category uh, under this uh, classification. So the second name of the computer is mainframe computer. As uh, mainframe computer is uh, usually slower only in comparison to supercomputer. And it is less powerful, less expensive only in comparison with supercomputer. But uh, it is a general purpose computer system which is designed for large scale data processing. This point is very much important that uh, the mainframe computer is used for large scale data processing just like in bank. In case of bank we are processing a number of data we are having of uh, different number of customer data we are having and uh, we have to perform all the transactions within a single day. So this is possible only with the help of mainframe computer. Uh, as uh, banking is perhaps, perhaps the best example of mainframe computer. Because mainframe computer processes the data at several million instructions per second. So uh, more than 1000 remote workstations can be accommodated by a typical mainframe computer. Means you can attach uh, more than 1000 remote workstations with this mainframe computer. So the, this technique allows many people at the same terminal to access the same computer at one time. So that is called time sharing and uh, mainframe are used by, uh, like uh, by banks and many businesses to update the inventory etc. Just like you take the example of bank as I am saying that banking is uh, one of the best example of mainframe computers and how? because 
a mainframe computer can process thousands of transactions in every single day like personal bank not only have to take note of uh, all their customers and various accounts but they must also track the withdrawals credit card transaction mobile payment online account updates so these all functions are organized only with the help of mainframe computer i think you can understand with the help of this example like how the mainframe computer is working okay so this is uh, one of the example uh, under this mainframe computer and uh, these are some names of uh, mainframe computer like ibm 1401 uh, hp 900 model this so these are the mainframe computers then ibm 4300 uh, then what are the uses of this mainframe computer like if i talk about the uses of this mainframe computer then i can say that it is it can be used in e businesses it can be used in e commerce data and uh, it can be used in banking it can be used in healthcare and uh, can be used in military so there are some more uh, applications where we can use this mainframe computer because uh, basically with the help of this mainframe computer we are uh, just managing or controlling the uh data processing uh, files and uh, this is possible only with the help of mainframe computer so in a case of academics and research also we can use this mainframe computer then the next category that is mini computer uh, mini computer as uh, mini computers are the general purpose computers and these are smaller than mainframe and even though the super computer and uh, these many computers give computing power without adding the prohibitive uh, expenses associated with larger system means uh, the mini computer size prevents uh, it from being portable but it can be moved more easily than a mainframe like uh, the size of the mainframe computer is even though very big in comparison to mini computer but uh, these mini computers can be moved more easily than a main mainframe because uh, uh, mainframe com- uh, because mini computer size prevents it from being portable but it can be moved as i uh, told you so mini computer integrates commercial and technical operations better than more powerful computers like uh, if i uh, i would like to add some uh, more points within this mini computer then i can add that uh, uh, these mini computers can be placed directly on desks and uh, therefore all the connections are easy to reach so uh, this is one of the advantage in case of mini computers then uh, it is uh, easier to use and uh, these are uh, well adapted for functions such as for accounting word processing data management statistical packages for social distancing then um, for social sciences um, and uh, um, computer aided design and numerical analysis etc then if i talk about the example of this mini computer then i can see uh, the number of examples under this category is ibm as and um, uh, ibm as this uh, this is one of the example of mini computer then the next computer or you can see the next type of computer yeah. under the category of this uh, classification according to size we are having two categories the first one was large computer system then the second one is uh, small computer system so in case of a small computer system we are having micro computer as um, micro computer is the smallest least expensive of all the computers and the prefix micro refers mainly to the physical size of the computer and uh, its circuitry rather than its capabilities so the essential differences between the micro computer and mainframe or mini computers are that that micro computers have a smallest memory and uh, less power and uh, these are physically uh, smaller and permit fewer peripherals to be attached that means micro computers are also known as personal computers and uh, we can also add some more examples within this uh, micro computer like uh, 
what type of example I can include into this like game console video game consoles then uh, uh, laptop ta laptops tablet VCs so these all are what these all are the example of uh, this uh, micro computer even those the handheld handheld devices like uh, number of uh, handheld devices we are having in this field so these also come under the category of uh, small computer systems so hope you have understood so thank you everyone thank you so much